South Africa and Wales are old rivals. They faced each other 33 times over the years. But this is the first time they'll compete in America, a country the Springboks haven't visited since 2001. This will be the third time that the South Africa team plays on U.S. soil. And fans say they are excited about the upcoming test match. No matter where they are in the world, the box have always got loyal supporters. I'm from Ottawa, Canada, and it's a short nine-hour drive down to, to Washington, D.C. to catch the game on Saturday and some of the events like the training sessions. For South Africans living in America, this game is the perfect opportunity to feel at home and to make sure their kids grow up loving what is a fairly alien sport. I feel like, you know, just the sportsmanship, you know, um, playing together as a group, following like a group plan is very important. Professional rugby is still a long way off in the U.S., but young players like these are not uncommon. The latest figures claim that rugby is one of the fastest growing sports in America. We watch rugby together today as a family and it was a great opportunity then for Brody as he turned five to play to play rugby and then to get to come here and see the team and some of the players we've been watching and learning about. Games like this should help boost the profile of the sport in years to come but for players here now it's a chance to meet their fans in this part of the world. Seeing him in the U.S. is my first time here it just makes it a bit more special and I've heard some of the guys traveled far to, to come to our training so it's, it's quite special and we really appreciate their support and hopefully we can give them a nice victory on this weekend. Whilst work continues to grow the American fan base, there'll be plenty of Springbok supporters from the old to very young cheering them on on Saturday. Andrea Arenas, Washington.